think there are a number of habits that the kids learned here that came from specific interactions and lessons both with the teachers and with other students that really are about the PBS culture. Being kind kids and loving learning were two things that I had heard at the front end. They sounded really good, but having gone through the PBS experience, those were things that really rang true and we saw numerous examples of that, both that we experienced from the kids when they would come home with stories or that we heard from the teachers as, as part of the feedback and, and that was um, you know, an important part of our experience here. I think the sense of kindness here is, is important, but it's also uh, a, a culture and an experience uh, that, that we felt where kids are allowed to uh, make mistakes, fall down, skin their knee, get back up again. There are words that become part of the culture, uh, like grit is one that uh, is an important, in my mind, adjacency to the kind kids. Because they're, they're learning, they're growing up, they're gonna make mistakes. And the ability to make those mistakes, not be judged, but learn. That's okay, let's figure out how we're gonna do it next time in an inclusive way, in a way that helps the kids uh, learn a lesson and build on a specific foundation but actually build real skills for interacting with other kids. There's also, um, I think, been a, a good continuous focus on the substantive education. Uh, there's been a focus on um, process more than product. Uh, the outputs have always been you know, very strong for the, the PBS kids, but the uh, adherence to making sure that it's not just output focused, but it's actually input focused. What are the experiences that the kids have? And making sure we're doing it in a way that we think is the right way or the best way for the kids has always been important. It's been very consistent over our experience here, and I hope that never changes. Since we started young, I don't think we really appreciated how, how much of a culture there uh, could be in a school. You take it on faith based on what's described about the school, but when you actually get there and you see it firsthand, you see that the culture that is described is actually the culture that's there. It's not just words, it's not just a mission statement, it's actually there. The mission statement is around the principles and values of the school are re-articulated and repeated by people. I think that helps them be embraced. And even with very young and new teachers, and we had some veterans uh, who had been here for decades, and we had some teachers when they were here in their first year, and I would say obviously the teachers who have uh, a great deal of experience here at the school and in the culture. We're obviously culture carriers, but the, uh, the new teachers very, very quickly embraced and embodied those same uh, culture and values, and that was pretty impressive. In some really important ways, all children are different and our three children were all very different. They have different characteristics, they have different skills, they had different needs. One of the things that was, was very, very clear and unexpected and pleasantly surprising was the insight with which all the teachers along the path for each of our kids really understood our children, understood what was gonna be a mo the most effective focus area for them, what were specific skills or habits in the classroom or outside the classroom that they needed to work on. It was very tailored for each of them. It was never generic. It was very different for each of them. In my mind, very successful for each of them. PBS is fortunate to have a very, very supportive uh, parent community. I'm always impressed with how broad the level of participation is and how generous people are. There's the monetary side of things, which has been very successful, but I would also say that the participation level that parents have in the classroom, on activities, whether it's a parent coffee or somebody being a, a 
uh, room parent, those are types of engagement that get everybody involved. So the classroom is involved with the family, family's involved with the classroom. That's where you really see it all happening. Uh, I've been incredibly impressed with the breadth by which everybody really to the best of their ability participates in things to the point where there sometimes aren't enough things to do volunteer wise and uh, people would like to do more volunteering than there are really um, um, opportunities uh, to do that. We had very good experience finding ways for everybody to participate in the ways that they are able and that they want to. It's really this emotional intelligence is often not written in a book. It's not on the curriculum, it's not in the syllabus. It's what happens outside the classroom. It's what is guided by the, the faculty here. A lot of it is um, on the playground. A lot of it is in the classroom. Examples of that to me would be things like participating in a discussion about a book that they've read or a story that has, uh, has been discussed or an experience they've had in a class on a science project, art project. The ability to um, lead a discussion, to have the teachers lead a discussion um, about whatever the kids have just experienced and do that in a, a, a balanced and participatory way. It's not a skill that all children start with, but the ability to kind of craft that over time and have the kids um, learn and grow in those ways, I think is really important. Love of learning to me really is the intrinsic part as opposed to the output part. If you learn to love reading because you love reading, you're gonna read more. If you learn to love a subject, you're gonna study it more because it's inherently good. It's inherently interesting, it's inherently engaging. And it's not because you're going to go get a grade or get something for it or get a reward. It really is about the intrinsic um, goodness in learning. If you get that skill and that habit right, that can guide you a long way. And it doesn't apply just to school, it applies to a broad set of things throughout children's lives and adults' lives. So that to me is a fundamental bedrock that is very core to PBS and it's not just the words, it's, it's, it's what we say we do and it's what we do, uh, definitely in our experience. I think it has carried through for, uh, for our children uh, into middle school and high school. PBS really tries and I believe succeeds at doing the things that it sets out to do on its mission statement. The PBS experience is different than other schools. I believe the culture is different than other schools. There are many great schools around here. Um, we have a distinct culture and, and way of doing things that's inclusive, that encourages courage, encourages kindness, encourages uh, a love of learning, and that those are fundamental to the PBS experience. They were here when we started. We were here for 13 years. I think they're here now just as true as they were as when we started and we've been very happy that we've uh, been here at PBS.